Shane Utah. Deputy John Crowley pulls in behind a vehicle that arouses his suspicion. The plates on his vehicle didn't match the vehicle he's driving. And so with plates not matching the vehicle, I decided to make a traffic stop to see what's going on. seems genuinely confused, even laughing at the possibility. I figured, you know, as a computer mistake between the license plate and the vehicle that it was on, I've had that happen before. But then the suspect removes all doubt. The driver tries to lose Deputy Crowley on winding canyon roads. He veers into oncoming lanes, even with traffic approaching in the distance. Two off-duty deputies who heard the call join the chase. The suspect barrels into higher elevations. Before long, the twisting cliffside road is covered with snow and ice. That's when the chase takes a dramatic turn. Just as the deputies pull in behind Officer Crowley, all hell breaks loose. It happens in an instant. The suspect charges, gun blazing. I saw two flashes of light and glass flying in front of my face. He was coming after me at the vengeance. The backup dash cam captures Deputy Crowley as he leaps out and fires back, running for cover. The gunman unloads on the deputy, splitting their windshield. Under a hail of bullets, the shooter hijacks Crowley's truck but quickly crashes into the canyon wall. Crowley and the off-duty deputies approach slowly. You still have to be careful because the suspect could still be alive and being in a police patrol vehicle, he did have access to several other firearms. But the man is mortally wounded. An ending he brought on himself. One thing I'm going to remember till the day I die from this incident is a look on his face when he came out with the firearm pointed straight at me. The suspect is later identified as a drifter with an extensive criminal past. But when he tried to take an officer's life, he ensured he would have no future.